What's up, Long Care Nation? Richie Plunge Plunge Line and Landscape. So, me and my wife here are getting ready to start on a property here that uh, is, it's, it's bad, ain't it? Oh, it's bad. It's bad. It's, it's really bad. So, they had a company maintaining it, uh, uh, Chuck with the truck I'm going to go with, because they didn't show up <laughs> after they mowed it once and then never came back again. Uh, this is what happens when you uh, take the cheapest bidder. They get in here, they start working, they realize that it's a lot more work than they anticipated. So, uh, I'm going to show you guys some of this property here. I mean, look at this. I mean, some of this stuff is... God, I don't know if the video does it justice. I mean, it's like a foot tall in places. You know, of course it's Bermuda, so the, the Bermuda stays pretty low, but all the weeds shooting up, I mean, it just it looks terrible. And yard signs she's taking she's taking the yard signs up i hate those things absolutely hate them but anyway guys a lot of people have asked me over the year uh the past year if i was going to change to a grasshopper mower over a ferris mower uh if, if i would be making a change or whatever and uh today let's take a look over we have a grasshopper on the trailer so it's a 61 inch got a 26 vanguard on it so uh, this is their new stand-on machine. Let's uh, let's put it to the test over the next couple of weeks. The rep sent it to me so that, uh, we could demo it for a couple of weeks and uh, get a better idea whether we want to buy one or not. So we're gonna put this machine on this property. There's not a whole lot to mow here. I mean, it's just this. The rest of it's just like around the buildings, just gravel, picking weeds, spraying weeds, picking up trash. So it's in this big Kroger shopping center. So you imagine all the trash that gets in here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this knocked out.
so we got it finished up here sorry for the wind it's pretty windy what, what is it mother nature you know we've been 80 something degrees for a month and then today's like 35 in the morning high of like 50. so we got her mowed up it looks a lot better than it did and and, and bermuda a lot of people are wondering probably why i mowed so low so bermuda's meant to be mowed super low you don't want it to uh, it's real leggy and uh and real ugly if you let it get too tall so you mow it low it always will look better uh and it'll, it'll actually grow better yeah uh, if it starts getting tall you start getting like funny looking clumps in it and it just just doesn't look right to me i'm no grass guru i guess you would say that would be something for uh uh pete over at gci or alabama lawn pros you know they could probably tell you a little more about it but i know you gotta mow it low to keep it looking good though if you don't this then and honestly when you looked at this you probably didn't think it was too terrible the bermuda portion of it but it uh it done a number on it i mean it was it was thick but the old grasshopper cut right through it i'm excited about that machine so uh Jessica's finished up a couple things here. I did kind of scalp kind of right over here. We'll just pretend like y'all didn't see that. I went in that little dip there and it kind of scalped the grass a little bit, but uh, that's another great thing about Bermuda. It'll fill itself in pretty daggum quick. A couple weeks, you won't even know that. So, but anyway, guys, we got this one done. Had to take all the grass clippings and literally blow them across this parking lot over here. Uh, had to go all the way across the parking lot and blow the grass clippings in the grass over there and down into that wood lot, that little wood strip between the Sonic over there and this parking lot. Simply because there were so many clippings and we just didn't have the bagger with us. So it's like, well, I guess we're gonna have to blow it across the parking lot. That's one thing that uh, uh, will, will make your company stand out. Don't blow your crap in someone else's parking lot and leave it. If you're gonna blow it in somebody else's parking lot, just clean it up. That's what we did. Anyway, the, uh, the grasshopper is, uh, so far is uh, looking pretty mad. I mean, look at it. Does it not look like it's staring at the fairs pissed off? I mean, it's what it looks like to me. I mean, it kind of looks mad, doesn't it? Anybody else see that? Am I the only one who thinks that it looks mad? Looks mad to me. Anyway, guys, let's get at it. We got more to do. Let's go. All right, so we made it home, and uh, I really want to get this machine on my lawn. So my lawn's uh, it's pretty overgrown too. I mean, that's just disgusting <laughs> but uh hey it's kind of like the mechanic with a beat up car you know he's usually working on everybody else's but uh no my yard is mostly weeds so it grows extremely fast so i want to put it on my yard i uh i knew i was getting this mower a couple of weeks ago and so i purposely passed on mowing it last week because i want to mow it as it, while it's a little bit taller uh just to kind of test it out see how it does in some thicker uh grass so we do have like a, a mixture we've got a little spot of fescue some bermuda in here and then the rest is just crab grass hem bit i mean it's just weeds that's what most of the stuff is in the south anyway unless you just have got the money so let's set this thing up and uh, and get some footage of me mowing my yard
All right, guys. So there's day one with this uh, with the the grasshopper stand on unit. I mean. Uh, and did a pretty good job on the yard. There's a few things that uh, that I've got to get used to that are a little different from Ferris. The controls are a little bit different. Like the Ferris is a, they got a smaller handle, and when you let go of the handle, they stop. Whereas with this, uh, you let go of the handle, it uh, it tends to kind of keep rolling a little bit. So I've got to get used to that. That's that's not like a deal breaker or anything, or you know, don't think I'm bashing the machine or anything. But uh, that uh, the. The, the like the, their factory grass flap they've got on it so it's underneath this shield it's right underneath this so if you look here it sticks out i don't know how well you can see it there in the sun but you notice it kind of sticks out of the edge of the deck there straight out so when you're mowing up a side like a side of a hill or a hump or something and you've got that open uh i did notice I, I couldn't see it so it was underneath the flap and, and it would kind of dig into the yard so that's something i got to be mindful of when i'm mowing uh, around little slopes and stuff uh, that way i don't dig in and grab or whatever but you could run it closed but if you run it closed all the time then you you know you're gonna leave a trail of grass or whatnot so um that's something i'd i'd, I'd prefer not to have the plastic flap on if that's on there uh, but uh, it's not my machine. I'm not going to remove it. it. Says do not remove, it's just plainly on top of it. So, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, something else I want to start saying at the end of uh, every video is remember why you started. A lot of guys want to give up and uh, and quit, but just remember why you started, guys. So, like I said, make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.